In this problem, we're told the speed of a bullet is measured to be 640 meters per second as the bullet emerges from the barrel length 1.2 meters. Assuming constant acceleration, find the time that the bullet spends in the barrel after it is fired. So imagine we have this gun here, right? Or this, yeah, this gun. And so we know uh, the speed of the bullet is measured to be 640 meters per second as it emerges from the barrel. So imagine this is the barrel. I don't really know what a barrel looks like, but imagine this is it. And so it's going to be leaving this, right, at 640 meters per second. So it emerges from this. And so the barrel length, right, so this length right here, it's going to be 1.2 meters. We know that. And then keep in mind, like let's say the bullet starts here. Uh, we know it's going to start at rest, right, because it's not moving uh, before we fire it. So it's going to be traveling 0 meters per second. And so we're trying to find uh, the time that it spends in this barrel. So T, question mark. Uh, so we're trying to find that, how long it spends in this, right? So what we want to do first is just write down our given. So what, what each of these vari uh, variables represent. So let's start with uh, this right here. So V sub 0, right? Our thing is going to start at rest, right? So our initial velocity is going to be 0 meters per second. We know that. We're given a distance, right? And generally, we call that delta x because we're working in the x direction. And we're going to call that 1.2 meters. And then uh, this right here, we can treat it as our final velocity, right? Right as it leaves, we know this velocity, and we're going to use that to help solve for t. So our final velocity, 640 meters per second. And then keep in mind what we're solving for. They're asking uh, the time it's been. So t, I'm going to write t equals question mark because we don't know what it is. So looking at these variables that we have, right, we should determine which kinematic equation to use. And I have them all right here. And so keep in mind, we're trying to solve for t, and we're not given acceleration, right? We're just assuming a constant acceleration. And so if you look at all three of these equations, this one, this one, and this one, they all contain a. So we obviously can't use those. So if we look at the only one left, it's going to be this one. So delta x equals uh, v plus v sub 0 divided by 2 times t. So essentially all I have to do, plug in our variables, solve for t, and that's going to be our answer. So let's just plug it in. So delta x, we know is 1.2. So 1.2 is equal to uh, V, which is 640. And make sure before you do this that all of your uh, units align. So make sure they're all in meters, or depends on what they are, right? But make sure they have meters and seconds, so they're the same time and distance. So 640, right, plus the initial, which we know is 0 because it starts from rest, over 2 times T, which is what we're solving for, so we just leave it as T. So 640 plus 0, 640, and then 640 divided by 2 is 320. So essentially 1.2 is equal to 320t. And if we want to solve for t, get it by itself, divide both sides by 320. So t equals 1.2 divided by 320. So you're going to get 0 0.00375. And so that, keep in mind what we're using in terms of time. It's going to be seconds. So if you want to change this into scientific notation, uh, we can just move the decimal point, right? So 1, 2, 3. So we can just rewrite it as, right? So move this over 3. So 3.75, then the number of times you move it. So keep in mind, we're making a number bigger. So it's got to be 10 to the minus of how many times we moved it. So 3.75 times 10 to the minus 3. And then our unit, seconds, right? So seconds. So this right here is going to be our answer. So the time that it spends in the barrel after it's fired is going to be 3.75 times 10 to the 3 minus seconds. And hopefully you found this useful.